All right, all right. Well, it is. It's Saturday of the week after Seattle Seahawks and their epic comeback at the NFC Championship game. Boy, was, that game was the best, greatest, worst game I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, I I still didn't think we were out at five minutes when we when we got that touchdown. The whole game, I was saying, we just need one big play to get going, and then one play to set it into overdrive to take the momentum. And. Uh, And on that onside kick, I was like, we can't kick a field goal right here. This is not what we need. We need a fucking touchdown right now or else. And I'm like, we're probably going to fake. And all of a sudden, John Ryan around the end, I'm like, yeah! <laughs> I was like, there it is. Now all we need is one fucking big play. <clears throat> Instead, we got kind of a series of uh, little big plays, you know, like a sack. Even after we threw that, uh, Russell Wilson threw that fourth interception, which was really only his, he only had two at that point because Curse fucking, Curse basically handed two interceptions. And uh, so he really only threw two interceptions. He still played like shit though for the first, <clears throat> but everybody did. So. I just. Played on a lot of teams, even as an adult, playing uh, semi-pro rugby and club rugby and military rugby, high school and all that stuff, and then, and then football back in high school and in the military and stuff. Never felt a team like this. Not even the 2005 Seattle Seahawks. I don't, like, there's just something about this team I keep saying character, but yeah, which has a lot to do with it, but there, I mean, it's character. There's an energy, uh, a focus, like a chi or a center to the team. And even if we don't, even if the Seahawks do not win, they did, the NFC Championship game proves that they're not like every other team, that they're breaking the mold, that they're, um, kind of this new school way, which is kind of old school. And so, uh, I mean, how do you describe that com comeback? It was epic. And yeah, Green Bay gave it away, but Seattle, what other team in the league would have came back from that like that with all that shit? Four interceptions, five turnovers total, we still win the game. Epically. Basically win the game in less than two fucking minutes. I mean, I... I and... You know, I, I predicted that we'd be back at the Super Bowl. I predicted we'd win the first one. <coughs> I said, if we win the first one, we're going to win the next one. And I could be wrong. And I mean, it's, it's any given Sunday. So the Patriots are a good team. But I don't think they're as good as, uh, as Green Bay. Um, Tom Brady. Tom Brady's a liar. I used to really like Tom Brady. You know, barely being drafted and doing what he did, even though I don't like the Patriots. I had a roommate in the Marine Corps that was from Boston. Came back one time, and all of a sudden there's this new guy in there, and there was like Boston shit plastered everywhere. Every team, I'm like, oh my god, no! And I loved the Seahawks then, but I didn't really. I just, you know, it was just football. Even all the sports teams, I'm just playing sports, and I'm, and I'm on a team. And I want it to be a team. But they're I always running the guys that just. You know, don't take it seriously or don't care about losing and stuff. And that, that's why I quit baseball to play rugby. 
And then I stopped playing rugby because my body's breaking down after just smashing people for fucking 20 years of my life, basically. And being a disabled veteran and all that, so. But, um, there's something about these guys that comes around rarely. Rarely. You just... Honestly, I feel for the Patriots. We have all the momentum. The Patriots are dealing with all the whole deflate gate nonsense, and uh, look, they cheated. It's plain and simple. Okay. And they're lying. You can see it. It's, if you can't tell, I've been able to tell if someone's lying since I was little. Can't tell Tom Brady's lying. You're a fucking idiot, or you're a hypocrite. There's lots of hypocrites out there, so <sighs> we know how that goes. Got a bunch of hypocrites on the left and a hypocrites on the right, fucking it up for everybody in the middle who just want to fucking progress. Not getting stuck in this stupid mentality, but I, I just, I just think the Seahawks are gonna win. <coughs> Cause they, uh, Patriots just don't have what we got. They're not as fast as us. We're not as big as them, but we're the lightest team in the league. But they don't have, they don't have dogs like we got. <laughs> we got some fucking junkyard dogs, scrappers. It, it, if you can't. If you didn't know that before, you surely know it now. I mean, Green Bay is just in our mouth, in our mouth, in our mouth. Just boom, 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 the whole game. And we were out of it, too. In our, I don't know what happened, why we were like that. It just, uh, I mean, there was that one interception was just off the hands. And it's like, stuff like that just kills any momentum. We got that first pick. That's all it takes is someone not to catch the ball, man. And curse is clutch. He was, uh... And there was that other one. It was a backside pass. They're like, oh, well, Russell Wilson just threw it there. No, it was a backside pass. Curse took four steps after seeing it backwards, you couldn't, I don't understand it, and it was, it was lackadaisical about it, he just kind of trot, trot, trot back right there at the end zone, and the guy just was there, like, he had a chance to stop, because he had a chance to stop and, you know, like the backside pass, stop, jump up for it while the other guys got the momentum, he didn't even do that, <clears throat> he didn't even fight around it, like, honestly, that shouldn't have even been an interception because Kurt should have at least fought for it and he didn't. He took four back steps after seeing it and they've run that play a hundred fucking times before. I don't know what Curse was out. I think, look, Curse had a lot to do with the offense, not but Curse came through when it's clutch because that's what he does. Doug Baldwin came through when it's clutch because that's what he does. Doug Baldwin doesn't fumble. This whole team doesn't fumble. We don't turn over. That is not normal, okay? And there's always one game a year for a team that doesn't do something to do something. You know what I mean? Like, just ask any fan of the Patriots or Green Bay or, you know, they'll tell you there's like, there's a, what was that? I can't remember which game it was, but Aaron Rodgers, he had like four interceptions and his QB rating, something like week 13 or 14. <coughs> it was against Atlanta or something like that. He just fucking shit the bed. But nobody's like, oh, well, I mean, that's uncharacteristic for him. So we all respect that. Like Russell Wilson throws, oh, your quarterback sucks. No, you fucking idiots. Russell Wilson is back. Oh, well, it's a defense. Go to any fucking team that goes to the Super Bowl. Tom Brady had a good team. For, he had a top 10 defense the first year he went. When, uh, 
Green Bay won the Super Bowl. They had a they had a really good defense. It was the last of that, and then they lost everybody, and then they sucked. All they had left was Clay Matthews and AJ Hawk. And AJ Hawk, I don't know what happened to him. He's just not as good as he used to be. He was a beast. And then Clay Matthews came. He was even more of a beast. But Clay Matthews. I mean, he's a good linebacker, but he didn't play one fourth of that game because he was tired. Because he was fucking tired. I'm sorry, Clay Matthews, but that makes you a pussy. Richard Sherman's in there with a hyperextended elbow, delivered from Cam fucking Bam Bam Chancellor. Earl Thomas, he only missed two plays. Earl Thomas only missed four plays. He had a dislocated shoulder. AJ Hawk, you know why Seattle won that game? It's because Green Bay didn't want it bad enough. They didn't have the character to win. They didn't have the leadership to win. AJ Hawk, or, uh, Clay, Clay Matthews is on the sideline for one fourth of the game because he's tired. That's why Seattle won. Because Seattle has a fucking pair of balls. They're not afraid to tell him. They're not afraid to challenge Roger Goodell's stupid fucking ass. His hypocrite ass. That guy, that guy I've said it a hundred times. I've been saying it for four or five years now. That guy will be the fucking demise of the NFL. And it's, it's every day. I mean... are going to win. I understand the Patriots could win. That's football. That's how it goes. Then all teams like that where you're just supposed to fucking win. But even though we're not supposed to win, they got the Patriots favored. I honestly, I don't know why. They played the worst team in the fucking playoffs, the Colts, who played one good game and then one pretty good game against Denver, but Peyton Manning fucking sucks. <laughs> he used to be great, but he sucks now. We proved that in the Super Bowl last year. It's not hard. All they did, you know what the Colts did? They admitted it. They copied what we did. It fucking works. Our system works. That's why we don't change what we do. People have to change for us. The Patriots are going to put a plan in for us. We have a plan for us. We don't have a plan for the Patriots. We, this is what we're going to do. Try and stop us. The Patriots have to figure out. They're the ones that are going to have to. I mean, yeah, the Seahawks. Okay, well, we, we got to stop this and this and this. But our core, our center, like, shit's solid. I mean, we're not changing that. We're going to stick to it. You know, in this last game, we should have done a lot more of a run option. But, uh, it's kind of hard to do that when you had curse basically three. Three of the intercepts were his fault. That other one were Ha Ha Clinton Dix. What a dumb fucking Not the last part is like Clinton Dix, that's normal, just ha ha, why? It's like, what? It's ridiculous. I seen some. I knew a guy named Martin Martin. Why? It's like, or John Johnson. That's, that's dumb. What's your first name? Ha ha. What's <laughs> your name? John Johnson. My name's John Johns. Richard. My name's Dick Richards. Your name's Dick Dickards. Like, it's not your fault. It's your fucking parents' dumbasses' fault. So I can't. I'm not. You know what I mean? Let's keep it real. It's not the person who has the name. Clinton Dix. I like the way he plays. So we can stop bashing on. Bashing, actually bashing on his parents' name. Ha ha. Cool. Look, I respect the <coughs> the Packers. They got that small town team kind of feel. They're good, loyal fans. Uh, I love Aaron 
Aaron Rodgers. Smart dude. In his interview, he's blaming it. Trust me, Aaron Rodgers did everything he could. Mike McCarthy.
associate themselves with other players. It's like I like Nick Buckus, but I was never a Dick Buckus kind of guy. We had like I knew guys that were more like him. Kind of more like a silent assassin, like like Cam and Earl. And we had guys that were just loud, like Sherman, you know, like people associate. So that's the I'm not saying how that's good or anything like that. No, it's not like that. Oh, I should play in the NFL. It's not like that. so absurd, but three Super Bowls in a row is not out of reach. It's not. It's hard and it's rare and it, it hasn't happened yet. Unless you count, you go back to the, the old times before the NFL AFC merger and back in the 50s and 40s and shit. I mean, Green Bay, yeah, that shit. There's only been a couple teams that have been three, even in the Super Bowl three times in a row. I believe that's the... Uh, early 70s Vikings with that fucking purple people eater defense they had, man I think they took one, they lost two took one, which is their third one I don't know and then the uh, <laughs> Buffalo Bills <coughs> lost four in a row it was to the Redskins, the Giants and then uh, Cowboys twice two times in a row so, anyways Signing off, let's go Seahawks.